In this video, we're going to complete example two. It says calculate the value of the obtuse angle theta. This time we're doing it correct to the nearest minute. You'll also notice that we have some square root signs in here. We're still following the exact same process as before. We bring sine to the other side first, giving us theta equals, and it needs to be inverse sine, so we go sine to the negative one, and in brackets we write square root of two over two. Now it looks a little tricky, but it's nothing too difficult. You just type it in the calculator the way it looks. So we go second function sine, open our brackets up, and we're going to go the square root of two, and we can do it over two. I prefer to use the divide button. So divide two, close our brackets, equals, and we get 45. So this is 45 degrees. Now remembering that this is an acute angle, and the question is asking, for an obtuse angle. So what we need to do is we need to go 180 minus 45, which gives us 135 degrees, being the supplementary angle to 45 degrees. And this one is obtuse. This is the one we're looking for. We can always double check that it works by finding sine of 135, which is written as a decimal. Okay, now that might throw some people, but the square root of 2 over 2 is exactly the same. The square root of 2 divide 2 is 0 0.707, which is exactly what we got when we did sine of 135. So sine of 135 works. We're going to use that angle as our solution. Okay, so let's now move on to question B. Same thing again. Bring cos to the other side. Theta equals inverse cos or cos to the negative 1 of negative 0 0.128 this time. What are we going to get? Bringing up our calculator, second function cos, open our brackets, negative 0 0.128. Close our brackets, equals, and we get a decimal here, 97.354 degrees. We need to do it correct to the nearest minute. So we go second function DMS, giving us 97 degrees and 21 minutes. Remembering to check our seconds, our seconds are less than 30 seconds, so we're not rounding up. So we're quite happy with 97 degrees, 21 minutes. 97 degrees, 21 minutes. And this angle is obtuse because it is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. So we can just end that one there. Let's now move on to question C. Once again, bringing tan to the other side. Theta equals tan inverse or tan to the negative 1 of negative 3.5 this time. Bringing up our calculator. Second function tan bracket negative 3.5 close our brackets equals and we get negative 74 point something. So we need to put it in degrees and minutes questions asking us to do it to the correct to the nearest minute and we get negative 74 degrees three minutes we don't need to round this one up so negative 74 degrees and three minutes so we're in a bit of a bind here because we've got a negative angle which means it's not obtuse and it's also not acute so when this happens I like to explore what would have happened if the angle was not negative for example, what if we had tan of 74 degrees, 3 minutes, where it's not negative? What would we have got? Well, in the previous example, with a negative angle, we got a solution of negative 3.5. So if the angle was positive, we should have got positive 3.5. So what angle is supplementary to 74 degrees, 3 minutes? Well, if I go 180 degrees, and subtract 74 degrees 3 minutes. Let's do that on the calculator. 180 degrees minus 74 degrees 3 minutes equals, and we get 105 degrees 57 minutes. 105 degrees 57 minutes is the supplementary angle to 74 degrees 3 minutes. Okay, so 
what if we did tan of 105 degrees 57 minutes? What would we get if we did this? Well, because it's supplementary to 74 degrees 3 minutes, I should get the same value of 3.5. But we also learned that if you apply the tan function to a supplementary angle, yes, the number will be the same, except it will be negative. And this is good because this is exactly what we wanted. We wanted a solution of negative 3.5, which means our angle theta must be 105 degrees 57 minutes, which is obtuse. It's obtuse because it is between 90 and 180 degrees and whenever you do these questions it is quite important to double check that you did it right and it's not hard to do this this is the tan function so we're just going to type in tan and then our angle 105 degrees 57 minutes what do we get we get well it's about negative 3.49 but if we were to round it up it would be negative 3.5 so I'm quite happy with this as our solution. Let's now move on to question D. Once again, we just follow the same process. We bring tan to the other side. Theta is tan inverse tan to the negative 1 of negative root 3 over 3. So let's type that in the calculator and see what we get. Second function, tan. Open our brackets. We need to go negative root 3 divide 3 and close our brackets. What does this equal? We get an angle of negative 30 degrees. Okay. Now, I know that I really want to find some sort of a supplementary angle and it's probably the angle that's supplementary to 30 degrees rather than negative 30 degrees. So I'm just going to go, what is 180 degrees minus 30 degrees? Well, it's 150. So I have a sneaking suspicion that the angle of 150 degrees, which is obtuse, will give the same result as negative 30 degrees. And I just want to double check that. I'm going to bring up my calculator and I'm going to use my tan function and I'm going to find tan of 150. Now I get negative 0.577. So that's quite positive already. It gives me a negative solution, which is good. That's what I'm looking for. I'll give it a tick. But I want to make sure that this decimal I've been given, 0 0.577, is the same as root 3 over 3. So what is root 3 over 3? Root 3 divide 3 is 0 0.577. So I'm quite happy to say that I have found the obtuse angle that I was looking for. Anyway, that concludes my video on example 2, remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video.